Hello lads, lovelies, and everyone in between. So today I'm just going to talk about a couple of things going on with Pimax that you may or may not have been aware of. One of which I think you may have had to have been living under a rock to miss, but the other is a bit more obscure. Pimax can be notoriously tight-lipped about the cool stuff they're working on, but once in a while they let something slip. Now, one thing they did not be quiet about was the new 120 hertz mode for the later model 8K axis. You can recognize those because the serial number begins with 2706. Those ones, uh, usually sold as DMAS headsets, will be able to get an upgrade to do 120 hertz in native mode. Pretty amazing. Although, let's be honest, getting the 8KX to run at full bore at 90 hertz is pretty challenging. My computer is very good. It can't do it. Not for most games. Oh, like some simple games, yes, it can, but for most games, no. Uh, for reference, I have a 3080 Tie and a 5800X3D, so it's pretty top tier, and no. <laughs> but some games will be able to take advantage of actually 120 hertz. A few will. So that's pretty sweet if you have one of those headsets. I have one of the OG ones, the 2705 models, that will not be getting 120 hertz. However, that's not necessarily to say we'll get nothing. As Pimax has said, that they're going to try and improve the 2705 models as well. And possibly other headsets, but I think they're starting with the 8K axis anyway. So, as shown here, you can see that there is going to be some effort to get an improvement of some kind on the 2705 models as well. So that'll be nice. I don't think we'll see 120 hertz on the 2705s. I don't think the panels can do it. But we might get something. We might get 110 or something, right? That'd still be pretty slick. And still pretty hard to drive, if we're being honest. But again, some games it will be a benefit. Uh, Ancient Dungeon runs really well. Beat Saber. Uh, probably a number of other games that are relatively simple graphically and run very well. You, we, we actually will be able to take advantage of that. But for a lot of games like Into the Radius or something, I don't see it happening with this generation of NVIDIA graphics. So, and that is actually how this is actually happening. It has to do with NVIDIA specifically NVIDIA DSC, or Display Stream Compression. That's actually already being used to get 90 hertz on this. So they've actually improved their compression so much, they think that they can actually get an extra 30 frames per second out of it. Pretty amazing, actually. Like, that's pretty fantastic. So if you're lucky and have one of those pretty soon, although not quite yet, it's an internal testing still, at least at the time of this video, uh, you will be able to get probably a beta firmware somewhat soon that will allow you to unlock this fairly fantastic bit of technology. And then hopefully they can get this going for the 2705s as well. Although again, I really don't think we'll get 120 hertz. I don't think the panels can do it. So there will be a limitation there, but hey, something's better than nothing. And frankly, 90 is pretty awesome for 4K per eye as it is. So very cool. Next up, and this one I really haven't heard anything much about at all, is Pimax and OpenXR. Now, if you missed this, there is an OpenXR implementation for Pimax that came out fairly recently. That is by, and I'm sure I'm getting the pronunciation wrong, Mbutia. He has a limited version of OpenXR made available for Pimax headsets, and it actually does work and apparently has been getting some pretty good results from people who have been testing it out. I think that's friggin' awesome. However, this is not what we're talking about. I'm talking about an official made by Pimax OpenXR implementation. And it might be out sooner than we think. We know that we've been asking Pimax for OpenXR for quite a while now. And it turns out this was worth asking for because Pimax knows we want it and is giving it to us. Although why they do this stuff in secret, I do not know. However, they did say to me that 
this is in fact being worked on and with a bit of luck it might be out by the end of this year or early next year. And this will be a Pimax made OpenXR implementation. It won't be based off of Mbutia's code. So that's very cool. Here's the evidence. And as far as that goes, that is just some quick updates from Pimax that you may have missed, although I don't see how you missed the 120 hertz thing. That was a big deal. But the OpenXR thing, I bet a lot of people missed. And that'll be really great for when that comes. We've all wanted OpenXR, especially as it's really obviously the future and much more performant than going through Steam VR, right? So this is excellent news for people who are running OpenXR games a lot. This would be a pretty big boost. All right, that's it for some quick Pimax updates. I'll see you next time, lads, lovelies, everyone in between. Thanks for coming by. Love you, and I'll see you next time.